Inquisitor. Thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. What? Why is the Illuvian open? It was open when I arrived. Morrigan said only that Kieran did it. Then she ran into the mirror. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion? <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kieran is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son! Oh, be a good lass, and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? You... Um, thou. You are. It's very nice to finally meet you. You see, girl, those are manners, as you require a demonstration. I require nothing from you but your death. You tried that once already, and see how far it got you. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. 
and she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythol through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald, indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. If Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mythal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged. Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal. That's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> I presume you know what we're up against. Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Allah, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> it was the well. Be thankful you did not drink. Imagine, bound to your dear mother for eternity. <laughs> You're going 
to steal the body of a young boy. If my daughter believes it, then it must be so. Kieran, I... As you wish. Hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decide it so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat, and it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. You truly had no idea what she was? I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt, and doubt is an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. I suppose I should be thankful you drank from the well. Eternal servitude to mother would not be my first choice. So Kieran had the soul of an old god. Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes. He has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. So what happens now? Mother said you must summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. 
It's a place dedicated to Mithal. As, no doubt, is the Guardian you must battle. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement. Mother must be very pleased. The Herald of Andraste, leader of the Inquisition at her personal beck and call. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathal must somehow have been her influence. Perhaps she's influenced more than just what happened at the Temple. With Corypheus, you mean? He does have that elven orb. Which he had to acquire somewhere. Yes. I see. It is hard to imagine her motivation for doing so. Then again, everything about her is hard to imagine. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed and be thankful she assisted us at all. Do you trust what Flemeth told us? About what she is? I... I am uncertain. I knew there was more to her than I realized that she was not truly human. This? I once found her grimoire, and that was where I learned her immortality was gained by stealing the bodies of her daughters. Flemeth claims I misunderstood. It is not forced on the unwilling. Meaning I might agree to such a thing? <laughs> Impossible, yet there seemed an undeniable sense of truth to the things she told us. All my years spent hunting for arcane mysteries, and the greatest was the one I left behind. So what do you intend to do now? Now? I will take Kieran and leave. Where I will go is uncertain. I must consider the fact that Flemeth may yet have plans for me. You are her servant. But I am her daughter. I doubt she will let me slip completely from her clutches. Whatever happens, I wish you well in the coming battle, Inquisitor. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. It's here. I can feel it. Yes. I feel it as well.
There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Methal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and they had no one to speak to. Do you need to do this alone? No, definitely stay. I'm here, Flemeth, just as you told me. If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it. Why did it fly off? Will it come back? It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. Now we need only find Corypheus.
Your worship. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. See meeting you here. Good afternoon. <laughs> 